Ask Reddit by Anius Prime. Men of Reddit, who were told it's okay to be vulnerable, what happened when you actually were? My dad died last week. It was interesting because everyone older than 50 said be strong. For your mom everyone and said do whatever you need to. You lost your dad, I'm 40. He was almost 80 and had a 5 year battle with cancer and year disease. Whenever I didn't cry people were like it's okay to cry, which was annoying af, because maybe I'm not sad in that moment. My dad liked to laugh and have fun so my eulogy had a few jokes in it. I hope he enjoyed it. Condolences homie. Fuck cancer, there's no right way to do this shit. I went through my friend's funeral recently and was able to keep myself together. Then few nights ago just couldn't stop bawling, out of nowhere just hit me. I'm 2 years into therapy and just hit bedrock and it's like I've been living my life in an obstacle course and didn't realize the lights were off and someone just flipped the switch. It's magnificent. Therapy can do wonders. I have my last session next week and wow have things changed for me. One time it went pretty well. She listened, seemed slightly f but by nothing ever came of it and I got a chance to vent. One time, she hated it, and later used it against me. Usually, people just awkwardly move on as quick as they can. Same. Every relationship I'm an emotional stone, I get love and care. But if I ever show my true emotions I get destroyed mentally. Depends on who I was open to. Some friends made fun of it and then just ignored it. True friends actually lend a hand and help me getting better. That's really what makes the difference. The hard thing is assuming which friends family partners are going to be the ones that will accept your feelings vs those who will mock or abandon. Not always obvious either colon. My gf accepts me and told me it's okay and loves me. The very first time, I could feel my muscles releasing their tension because I was able to cry in front of her. I fall asleep around her a lot because I feel safe and my nervous system relaxes that much. It's a human emotion guys, you need therapy, and better friends partners. It didn't destroy my masculinity. I got facial hair, a deep voice, broad shoulders, I don't take crap from anyone and can yell back harder than just about anyone. I just like to be held and comforted too because I recognize what I need to be healthy. I'm so happy for you. I was immediately judged and abandoned. Yeah, pretty much. Edit, in retrospect, I realize that this group of so-called friends had plenty of time to discuss what they did, and took the time to make up a story as to why. It was rough at first, but I was persistent in explaining why it was important to me to be able to express it from time to time and she responded very well over time. There is one thing to talk to your friends about it, and there's another thing to share with your wife and life partner so they can understand the framework from which I make decisions. I felt like it was important to educate her on what goes on in my mind so she has fewer reasons to feel frustrated when I don't see eye to eye with her. Believe me, it is not easy to feel rejection or a negative response when you are opening up. But you have to rise above that and recognize that it's for the betterment of both of you. I call it exposure therapy in marriage. The man who told me that it was okay to cry hugged me and told me he loved me. We've been together for over 10 years now. Finally. It's sad how many negative comments I've had to scroll through to get to this one. And, I hope you have a great life with him. My girlfriend now wife held me and it felt good. I cried at work maybe 8 days after my dad died. I forgot why someone walked out annoyed at me. But yeah the other manager on. Put her hand on my shoulder and said men don't cry. Humans cry and you're a human dude. Cry whenever you need. I have been very vulnerable with some friends recently. They reciprocated. We have a deeper bond now. Damn, it's me. I opened more to my friends and I didn't see they are vulnerable too. Now we support more each other. 
worried about a potential cancer scare. I opened up, not wanting anything, just to talk to someone. She stopped talking to me 6 year friendship down the drain despite all the times I was there when she needed help. I actually experienced stuff like that at it too, despite being a girl. I think it's just shit people that only wanted you for the good times. I was raised with dry that shitty up boys don't cry never show weakness and now it's difficult to navigate through those suppressed emotions and sometimes it's overwhelming. I tell my boys it's okay to cry and be hurt and take your time. They aren't afraid to say what made them cry and why and that makes me so happy. This is important. Being able to express your vulnerability in a healthy way is a skill, and takes practice. Plenty of women are bad at it too. Was ignored and mocked. Made to feel bad and apologize for getting treated like shit. Or it's brought up later and used against me in an argument. Learn now that anyone who asks for me to open up is just a worthless sack of shit trying to play at something. Yep. Open up so I can find a place for this knife. She left me for not being manly enough. Same. I'd like to apologize to the men here from a straight woman who knows men have feelings. These people who have trusted you this way are shit cunts. My partner cries every single time that Barracuda comes for Nemo's siblings and mum. Every. Damn. Time. You know why? Cause it's fucking sad. He cries when he misses his nana. He cries when he thinks he's been nasty to his kids. He cries because he's a human and for some reason we evolved to show sadness and happiness and anger with tears. Fuck all them cunts who disagree. Why do so many women get iked out when guys show emotion then? I never feel heard. Responses tend to be some variety of man up. You are not doing enough stop being like that the problem you're talking about isn't a problem for me so it's not actually a problem. Even speaking about this and seeing the words written out prompts my own reaction of so you complain a lot and always get a similar response maybe the problem is you, yes. Fucking up. The problem is me. What can I do to avoid this shame spiral? How do I find a way forward so I can find balance or some measure of normalcy? I don't have that problem. I just get up and don't do that. You aren't doing enough you think too much don't have the problem you have. It's like that. The problem is not you, most people are just garbage. Got used against me in arguments as a way to push my emotions any insecurity or trouble was 100% weaponized. At first there may have been some sympathy but then they were clearly disgusted and thought less of you. Never, ever, talk about your deep down fears or insecurities with anyone who may have an incentive to use it against you in the future. Therapists is about the only ones who are safe to open up to. It was thrown in my face and held against me in every argument we've had since. Not me, but a friend of mine was with his very much I'm a feminist and men should be allowed to cry if they need to, it's patriarchy harming men through toxic masculinity girlfriend at the time. That's not a jab, it's a conversation we genuinely had. Anyway, the poor guy lost a member of his family, was hit by a car while on his motorcycle and got his two legs broken, and then discovered that the enterprise he worked for was bought and dismantled, and he was out of a job. In the span of about two weeks, when it rains, it pours. He broke down crying in his girlfriend's arms. About a month later she broke up with with because she lost all attraction to him as a man that day. That's so fucked. She laughed at me. That's when I knew that marriage counseling wasn't going to work out. I was mocked the next day. You were crying boohoo tears when you thought we were going to break up. Either way, I just stopped giving a fuck. I get complaints that I look mean or hard to approach. That's basically because I just stopped giving a shit. I don't see the point in being this friendly person. Being friendly, for me, is something I do for me, because it makes me happy and hopeful people are at least as friendly as me. If they are, it's a very nice interaction. 
if it's not, well fuck it it's okay. I stopped giving a shit about those PPL. The rest I try to be as good as my mother told me. It's just my pov but the point of being friendly is better life. Better interactions and main being an example for some. Now I'm not gonna lie I'm not always like that. But I try. And it's cool. You meet good PPL even if I suck at small conv for example. I hope you don't let bad PPL makes you sad and cold. They don't deserve it. Don't ever open up. Just bottle it up until you have had enough and commit suicide in your 50s like a good man. First wife don't open up about your childhood or the Iraq war. It's too overwhelming for me. I'm already struggling with how to cheat on you and yet still extract as much money as possible in the divorce. Second wife I sympathize. I love you. But realizing you have pain has changed how I see you to the point that you can hear the wind whistling through the dusty narrow crevice that used to be my vagina. It is bone dry and cold to the touch, not that you'll ever touch it again. It gave her the ache. Never made that mistake again since. Told to man the fuck up. Oof. Sorry to hear.